You know, I met Julia in 1960, mm -hmm. you know, 6 old, so that's a long time, just after I came here. And at that time, she had never done television mm -hmm. and uh, she had never written a book yet. But she wasn't working for a newspaper or magazine, so right. actually she was totally unknown at that time. She right. just came from France. She actually, she had lived there a number of years and worked at the Cordon Bleu and studied there. So we became friends and we stayed friends. You know, she was 92 when she died, or the week before her 92nd right. birthday, actually. And I recently just read your 100th birthday recollection in, yeah, right. uh, in last August, that just passed in, in the New York, uh, New York Times. Times. Yeah, right. And obviously you guys had, clearly you had a great, unique friendship. What, yeah. what is a moment that kind of stands out? Well, I'm always sharing a bottle of wine, you know, right. and being together in the kitchen and enjoying and arguing. You know, right. we argue like friend, argue or spouse, you know. About Did you argue about sometimes another. with but food? Does it taste yeah, that? Right. like that better. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> you know, I say test it, she tests it, and I say, uh, I think it's good, she'll test it now, and it's all to or vice versa, you know. So, uh, but that's good. We always finish around the table, sharing food and a glass of wine. Right, so that's right. The beauty of it. Yeah. You have.